Virginia here with Jenny Lee Gems. I am going to be working on some alcohol inks today. So it's resin day. I am going to try to do several different little projects. I don't like to waste resin, so I work on several at once. So I've mixed up, pre-mixed some colors. I've got some little glitter that I'm gonna dip in the middle of the alcohol inks. So if you've watched my other videos, you know that I mix my resin, let it sit for 15 minutes or so, and then mix up my little extra colors I want. So here's some purple. I need more blue turquoise bottoms. So that's what I'm working on today. And um, I also mixed up some actual powdered turquoise. Look at that color. So... I'm letting that sit and thicken because I'm going to fill in these little grooves here on this shell that I got from Mexico. That's one of the projects. And then I also mixed up some yellow because I want a background for this um, little frog. And I'm going to layer it just yellow in the back and then clear on the top. He'll be floating on a little yellow lily pad and it will match his belly and then i have a custom order for a lady that wanted a picture in so the background for that is going to be green to match the trees i believe this was in africa and so i mixed up this light green bright light green with a little bit of shimmer in it so i mix those all up ahead of time and have them ready because it's easier to do that when you are resining so let's see let me show you how i pour let me move these colors so i don't spill them i have been known to do that so this resin has been mixed up and it's been sitting for 15 minutes so it thickens so when i'm working with these alcohol ink little centers i make for my kits i want them about a quarter of an inch thick So see, this resin is set for 15 minutes, so it's a little bit thicker. It's not as runny. I don't, I, hopefully you could see that pour. I'll pour one more. So I'm just making several up. I've sold out of the turquoise blue and any of the blues, and I need a few purples as well. So I'm making some up for my kids, and then hopefully by the end of March, I'm going to be teaching Zoom classes. So that's how you pour. These have all, so I have six of them ready. And I always go over it with my little heat gun. My hubby got me this new tip and I love it. It really helped for making beach waves on some of my beachy baskets. So sorry about the noise, but I like to blow all the bubbles out, especially with alcohol inks, because you can't blow them around too much like you can others. So as I've said in other videos, I always clean my molds prior to using them and then I blow them off because dust settles and I'm already seeing a little hair here so I'm gonna take that off. I see a pink hair here too from clothing or something so I try to really keep everything clean I wash all my molds in between uses but there's stuff lying around in the air. Okay, so we've got enough right here for six. And this is the way I measure. I could tell it's about a quarter of an inch, but I mark my little toothpick so I could dip it in and just make sure. Yes, that is about a quarter of an inch. Because when I'm teaching people how to make pine needle baskets, I don't want to provide too thick of a bottom because it's harder to get your coil going to the right thickness at any rate. Okay, so first of all, let's do some blue because that is what everybody wants. So I have this beautiful turquoise blue and I just go, let's see, you could see, oh, you could see this one. This one you could see better. Okay, so I just go around and put a little drop on the outer edge because this is going to spread. And be careful, press ever so lightly because you can get big blobs of color. Now you see how that's spreading? Okay, 
I'm going to do little drops here because these are smaller. So sometimes you get two drops out, even when you don't want them. So now this little glitter resin, I've left sit for a while and it's gotten nice and thick and that's how I want it so it doesn't spread a lot. So in the middle, I think that I'm gonna put this sky blue. So it'll just give it a different, little different color and then I'll put some glitter in the middle as well. So this sky blue is a little bit lighter than the turquoise and you see how that runs into it and it just gives it a really pretty effect. Now, when you're working with these colors, you always want to, well, you don't have to, because you if you wanna see through it, you don't have to, but you, they show up better if you put white on. Let me shake this up, because it's been sitting a while. But you can see how that's moving. You can certainly leave it like that. You could put dots of different color in the center. The blue has really lightened up in the center. But I like to put white on each of the dots that you've previously made. It sort of drops to the bottom and creates a different effect. So I'll just go around and do that, show you how we just put a little drop. I try not to get too much, but you know, it depends on the cap. And each one of these is gonna come out a little different. I've tried to make exactly when I find a favorite, it never comes out exactly for me, so. And you can also layer alcohol inks, different colors, and just see what effect that gave you. See, I made an extra drop in there and I didn't mean to, but. So when I'm making floral patterns, usually I'll put yellow or orange in the center. And you can go back and paint, you know, some little seeds with a black pen, you know, black paint pen or something of that nature. So, Let's let those sit a little bit and see what happens. They're moving. I'm gonna put a little bit of, on the low setting, just a little bit, and you'll see it causes them to grow. But you never know what it's gonna look like on the other side, and that's the fun part of it. Okay, so we'll watch those for a second. I'll come back and I will start dropping glitter in the center. I want to give them a few minutes to move the way they want to move and get to where they want to be. So here we are up close. You could see they've kind of feathered out and the glitter has sunk to the other side. So they look very pretty on this side, but they might look even prettier on the other side. Now this glitter stayed a little bit more on top. Here's a smaller one that I pulled the lines through and created more of a floral effect. And here's the second blue. These are the purple. Now the purple seem to travel quite a bit more, so I'll have to keep a watch on this, but this one didn't travel as much. You can see the glitter on the other side. I'll probably add a little more. And this one, yeah, it's really traveled. So I'll probably use my little tool to pull these in a little bit and maybe add more glitter. So here is the yellow and I left it sit long enough and it's only about an eighth of an inch thick. So I think I'm ready to put my little frog in there. Let's see, I think I wanna put his head this way. There he goes. I think that'll look really cute. Now he is really tall, so it won't be a problem setting him down in that one eighth inch resin. Um, it's not gonna flow up over him while it's wet. Now, this is gonna be the backing. The green is gonna be the backing for this photo. So that'll go right on top. There'll be a little bit of green around and then I'll layer it with clear. So I had a little bit of resin left. So I went ahead and made a few more purple. Nope, I didn't make purple, I made blue. Anyway, that's what they're looking like. These are little elongated ones. I think I'll have to define them. I haven't put the glitter in yet. I'll keep working on those. So, 
So this is a beautiful mess. I'm trying to make rainbow. And I kept getting calls in the middle and I couldn't get these poured quick enough. And they've just run the colors of run together. That looks like a sun. And some of the colors are spreading, which they shouldn't be. Some aren't. I just started pouring as quick as I could because it was getting so sticky and I was making a mess. So these are supposed to be rainbow. They're certainly all colors of the rainbow, but it didn't come out how I intended. But it's kind of a beautiful mess. We'll see what happens next. I'll show you a pick when they dry. Wow, I just don't even know what's happening. I don't think I could even do this ever again. The heart is the only one that came out similar to what I wanted, and it's not even really similar. So <laughs> sometimes you just get a mess, but you know, someone will like it, I guess. We'll see what happens. I'll show you when they dry. That looks like the sun. These are way more psychedelic than rainbow, I think. And the yellow is traveling, which looks pretty cool. But it's not really a rainbow. It's rainbow colors, but I don't know what's happening here. I'm just going to keep an eye on it and see what happens next. I ran out of purple, but there is some purple in there. I mean, this one looks like interplanetary something. I don't know what. They keep moving. That kind of looks like an eye if you look at it this way. I don't know. Well, the heart, I like the way the heart came out. We shall see. Okay, I'm going to pick one of these and just drag to the center to see what happens. Um, I don't want to mess that one up because I like the way the center looks. And I don't want to mess that one up. So this is my least favorite. So let's see. I'm just going to drag to the center. And I'm using my little rubber tool so that I don't leave marks on the other side. And if I like it, I might do a few more this way. I like to put these little swirls in the center. There we go. That might help it. These are going to be psychedelic, I guess, instead of rainbow or rainbow psychedelic. I don't know. And I'll probably put a clear coat on them. Okay, that looks pretty trippy. I think that helps. It gives it a little bit of definition. We shall see. Here we are, 24 hours later. They look really nice and dry. Here's my little frog, he looks cute. Here are all those rainbows. They are wild. I'm not sure what they're gonna look like on the other side, but they look pretty psychedelic. Let's see, this is, that's what it will look like on the other side when I demold it. So I am going to add a layer of clear on these just to protect that color a little bit. I did quite a few projects yesterday. I did these sugar starfish. I'll put them in a, a little bit of pink got on there. I'll put them in a mold and put something underneath them. But I wanted to strengthen them, so I painted them with a real light resin coat. And I did the second coat on this rose. That looks pretty cool. 
And let's see, I had to rebrush these and they came out good. And this turquoise embedded inside a shell looks pretty good too. And the picture, I'm gonna put a clear coat on top today. So let's demold a few, just so we could figure out what it, they look like on the other side. So here's the blue, which is the most requested I get in my kits for some reason lately. Let's pull it out. Now it's still pretty soft. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. Oh my gosh. So if you watched my other videos, that looks like a beautiful flower. So it's still pliable. If you've watched my other videos, you'll see that I always have a clean sheet of parchment paper and I allow them to dry for another 24, 48 hours before I even mark them and um, drill them. So let's check out a purple. See what that looks like. Oh, that came out beautiful too. Now the sparkles in the center kind of spread but that's fine these are for beginner basket makers so they don't mind just they just want something bright and beautiful here is another purple try not to get any little specks sometimes you have little drops oh this one came out just about perfect so this is one of the ones that i pulled the lines through to give it a little more definition and that looks really nice so let's check out my little rose here so you'll recall I did one layer of red underneath and then I put a clear coat on top you could see there and that's the same thing I'm going to do with these rainbows because they're a little thin and I just want to thick them, them up. So as I worked on this, I had to keep spooning with a little spoon the resin over the top so that it protected these as well. Even though the petals are all metal, I like to have them protected so nothing chips off. So that one's pretty solid. I'll set it aside and let it dry for a couple more days probably. And then let's try one of these. These are a different shape. These are a different color. These are a lighter blue. I've got some bright blue. I went crazy with the blues yesterday and that's a little lighter turquoise blue. So we'll try one of these and see what they look like on the other side. This is the best part, pulling these out. So when you're taking them out, watch for little drops along the sides and you don't want to get them stuck to your piece as it's drying oh that looks really different so see what the white did you kind of never know what's going to happen depends on how it interacts with the um alcohol inks but so this i put a little yellow in the middle you could see that blending around the sparkles the confetti and then it just kind of grew but it gives it a really cool look from the side. It, You could see how it's falling in there. So those are really pretty. Those are a lighter blue. There's a more turquoise blue floral look. So they all really come out different. Let's try one of these darker blues. I'm sorry, I'm knocking the table around. My husband made me this really tall table it's easier than bending over a short table all the time these are a little stuck in there they're a little harder to get out than the round ones but so there's that bright blue that is beautiful oh but look on this side that's pretty so in these kits you can decide which side you want to use either side is fine well, I will be taking the rest of these out of their molds and laying them on a nice flat surface, clean with parchment paper under it to dry. And I'll be drilling them here in a few days. So I just wanted to show you how this one, look at the alcohol inks up here, 
how it just has little legs on it. It just really moved on out. And then when you look through the side, it's just really cool the way it's three-dimensional. Okay, I'll show you the rainbow ones when I take them out tomorrow. Thanks for watching. So this little yellow guy looks like an egg and it was just some leftover resin. So I put what I had in there and these will end up being just demos or freebies. I want to see what it looks like on the other side. Oh, it looks like you have the orange and then the bright yellow in the center, but then the blue stayed on this side. But on this side, it barely leaked through. It looks like an egg to me. Good morning. Best part of resining is taking it out of the molds the next morning. So these are the rainbow bottoms that were a custom order. They came out a little more psychedelic. So we got a lot of snow last night. We're snowed in, but everything's cured enough that I could take it out. I'm so excited to see the other side of this. Oh, that one came out really cool. So this is a custom order. That's cool too, but I like this side better. Look at how this the colors kind of ran in. It's really feathery. See that up close. Now I've got a clean piece of parchment paper over here to lay these out on to let them dry for another two days before I drill them. Oh, let's see what these look like. Oh, so you'll recall this is the one, <clears throat> excuse me, that I drug the little pointer across. So it just gave it a different effect and there's a red down below. I showed the lady who ordered these, the pictures and she really likes them. So we'll see which ones she picks and whichever ones she doesn't, I will sell to someone else or use myself. Here's another one. This one's really feathery. It's beautiful when you look up close. Some of the colors have shimmer. Well, here's another one where I drug. So that kind of looks like a, a sun, like a colorful sun. So let's open up the little froggy. You'll recall that I put yellow in the back and then the second day I floated clear coat. Now I cover these when they're curing and I check them for bubbles every 15 minutes or so constantly and for anything getting in them, but still, you might not be able to see it. There's a little teeny hair down under there. Shoot, but he's really cute. He came out really cute. Now here's a little blue flower. Let's see what it looks like on the other side. This is alcohol ink. Oh, that's kind of cool. So I could have drug lines across and made more definition, but these kind of grew together and you could see a little bit of the white and then the blue. It looks pretty cool. So we have no power today. So I'm using sunlight that just popped out and who knows when that's gonna change. We'll probably lose that pretty soon. So let's do one more rainbow. Maybe we'll do two more. So I wash all my molds in between uses. Oh, that one, so that one came out. Now this is what it looked like on the other side before it settled, but you would see how the red kind of ran into the yellow and then the yellow ran into the green and the blue. It's It looks pretty cool. And this side is totally different. So, whoever buys these or if I use them myself or gift them you could decide which side you want to use after they're dry of course 
Now here's a few more. Let's see how different they came out. So this one looks like I drug it. Let's look at that. That's kind of cool. It looks, I don't know. This area looks really nice. I kind of like this side better, the circle in the middle. But one more. wash all these molds when we get power back we have no water no power well oh there's a lot of red in that that's just big red wave across I love how these I don't know how look at how that yellow traveled and I didn't expect it to do that I just I don't know what happened these were just wild I really like this side because somehow it opened up and there's red dots and yellow dots within the blue in the middle. And if you look at it this way, kind of looks like a fish. I don't know, like there's its long nose and tail. Maybe a Pisces will buy it and see what they want to do with it. So the other ones that I were working on, I was working on these. There were some bubbles in it I had to sand down a little bit and then re-resin. Um, it's still a little rough on top and I don't know why, but this is the third time I've messed with it, trying to fix it up. So I'm done with these. They're going to have to be sold as is or used as is. I'm just tired of messing with them, but this will be really pretty with some brown and turquoise, like, you know, desert colors. And let me show you Just a couple more items. So these were the little stones that I was embedding this turquoise in. And they look pretty cute. This one almost looks like a face, but I don't know. I like it. And I still have to take the parchment paper off the back. And this one is my favorite. So this is a, a shell that I found in San Carlos. And I painstakingly dribbled the turquoise resin in there. Now, this is actual emulsified turquoise. So I hope you could see that because there's a lot of light shining in here. And so I painstakingly put it in each hole and then poured resin over the top. And you have to keep pouring resin over the top. But this is going to make a beautiful little basket. And I will keep that for myself because it was a lot of work. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Gives you an idea of what they look like the next day. I hope the sun isn't glaring too badly. Thanks for watching.